guys, it's Yui. Today I'll be sharing a tutorial how to create this look, which I call just a green eyeliner look. Really, it's really, really simple. You don't really need a lot of colors or techniques. So what you're going to need is basically just a really creamy green pencil eyeliner. Uh, you can use a liquid eyeliner if you want to, but it just needs to be really creamy enough so that you don't really need to hurt yourself. And then you're going to need a champagne color to pop right here. And also you need a soft crease color, which is a light brown. And you can definitely make it more dramatic if you need to. But I really like it, like just keeping it really subtle like this. And I had a great feedback on this look when I had it on in one of those vlog, uh, pregnancy vlogs. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Let's start off with a champagne color. Take it on a sable brush and then put it in the inner part of your mobile lid. Now I don't really have a mobile lid so I place it up to where the crease is supposed to be on my eyelid. Concentrate more on the inner part of your eyelid. Now moving on to the medium brown shade. This is a shade called Mousse from Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to take it onto a typical blending brush which is really similar to MAX 217 and I'm going to blend that color up in my crease or where the crease is supposed to be, focusing more on the outer part of the eye. When you're blending eyeshadow, it's always easier to apply a little by little and see how you go and adding some more. Makeup is always harder to take off once it's applied to your face than building up. I realized that the first champagne color was not as intense as I wanted it to be, so I'm taking this color called Artemis from Beauty Cottage Gorgeous Shadow Palette and I'm applying it exactly where I applied the champagne color and also bringing it into the inner corners of the eye. Then let's do the eyeliner. This eyeliner is great because it is very creamy and easy to use, but once it sets, it doesn't really move that much at all. So I really like it. As you can see, I like to line my upper lash line with the pencil almost lying flat on my eyelid because it gives me a better control and it's just so much easier to do. Now let's move on to the flick of an eyeliner. I know it's sometimes difficult to do the flick with a creamy eyeliner because it doesn't really give you the precision, but today I'm trying to make the flick a little bit longer than usual so that people can actually see it. Now sometimes if you wear false lashes on top of it, it somehow makes the eyeliner almost non-existent for some reason. So I'm trying to make it a little bit thicker and also longer than usual. Now this is an optional step, but I always like to use black gel eyeliner and then use it for tight lining on my lash line um, when I wear colored eyeliners because it just makes the eyelashes look fuller without actually using eyeliner on the top of the lash line, if it makes sense. Pulling up the eyelids are actually not so great for your skin, so you can hold it down like this, but not pulling up so much. Now let's move on to the false lashes. I know this is the toughest step. I mean, in my opinion, it is the toughest thing to do in the makeup, but trust me, it gets easier and better with the practice. You just have to do it so many times that you feel a bit more comfortable doing it. That's what I did and it gets better. So it's okay, take your time. And the falsies that I'm using here are one of my favorite Japanese brand called Nipireru Matsuge, and also I'm using Duo Glue. This is another optional step, but you can go over the lash band only on the lash band with the black liquid liner so that it doesn't really stay shiny and looking fake. Just make sure that you're going only on the lash band and then you're not lining the upper lash line. It's almost like you're just painting only the area where it looks reflective and fake. Now apply some mascara on top and bottom natural lashes as well as a little bit on false lashes so they can blend in together well. And if you have naturally straight or pointing downwards kind of eyelashes, I would recommend curling them before you put on falsies. Now this is what it looks like so far. You can finish it here, but we're gonna move on to the extra step. 
Now take a rosy purpley shadow onto a small brush and apply it on a lower lash line. The contrast of the green and the purple is actually really great. Here's the finished look. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Bye! えー、皆さんこんにちは。ゆいです。え、今日はこちらのえ、メイクのチュートリアルということで名付けてグリーンアイライナーということなんですけど、めっちゃそのままなんですけれども、え、必要なものはグリーンのペンシルアイライナーです
次のステップもお好みですがリキッドアイライナーでつけまつげの根元の部分を隠しますこの時アイラインを引くようにするのではなくつけまつげのバンドの部分にのみ色をのせるようにしますにマスカラを上と下の地まつげにつけますつけまつげの方にもつけてあげると地まつげとの馴染みが良くなりますもともとの地まつげがまっすぐな人もしくは下に向かって生えている人はつけまつげをつける前にしっかりとビューラーでまつげを上向きにカールさせますここから先はお好みで追加してくださいもちろんここまでの手順で終了にしても構いません紫がかったローズ色を下まつげの際に軽く入れてあげると上まぶたの際に入れた緑とのコントラストがより際立つのでどちらの色もより一層鮮やかさを増す気がしますはい以上ですお疲れ様でした、えー、楽しんでいただけましたでしょうかそれでは次のビデオで See you next time! Bye!